Hello there, reason people, who they're here, and welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be looking at when that song marker gets to the end marker, it's actually going to stop and not just carry on like it's doing now. So it's quite straightforward. What we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves an EMI and we're going to put that into the rack. We're then going to select our loopback MIDI port. And if you've never done loopback MIDI before, up on my channel I have got a beginner's guide to MIDI loopback and I'll make sure in the description I'll put a link to that. Now I've got that uh, EMI in the rack, what we need to do is we need to add ourselves a little bit of automation data. So we're going to go up to the track parameters here and we're going to select ourselves a CC number. Now you can select any number you want, but today I'm going to select CC2. Then down in the bottom I'm going to create myself a little bit of automation data in there. And this data needs to equal 127, so we'll put, whatever, put it wherever you want and then just make sure you get it up the top there, so it's 127. The next or final step we're going to do is we're going to do Edit Remote Override. We're going to select that loopback MIDI port, so that loopback MIDI port matches this one. And then we need the control of CC2, so that's the automation data I created there. And then all we're going to do is hit play. And that is it. It is now stopped. You can do this trick to a lot of the controls down here. I've done one with the alternative uh, takes. I've done a video on that as well. But another good one to do it to is actually the record. So what the record function will give you will be an equivalent of a punch in and punch out. So I'm just going to quickly clear that and I'm going to right click on the record button, edit remote override. Again, I'm going to click, select that MIDI port so the two MIDI ports match. And then I want CCO2 because that's the data down there. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm just going to select this track here, make sure that's armed. Let's put the pointer over here. Hit play. It's now recording. And once it gets to the end of that bit of automation, it's going to automatically stop recording. Thank you for watching and bye for now.